So this is an update. Well guys, shit. Don't know what to tell you. It happened again today, except I didn't see her. Let me give you a quick rundown of events. 9 o'clock a.m. I go to the local police station with my girlfriend. We tell them all that we know and show them the Polaroid. Although quite friendly, they say they really can't do much other than maybe file a restraining order against the person who probably, their words, isn't even in the country. They think I mistook her for someone else in the picture. Well, they said it was probably a prank. They did take the photo and open a file about it, just in case it escalates, I guess. 1 o'clock p.m. We arrived in town where I saw her. Went to the location, but there was nothing there. Don't know what the hell I expected anyways. We stayed there for a while. 6.30 p.m. Arriving home, front door of the house is open. But this is not uncommon as we live with five other roommates. We go upstairs to our room. Our room is open. That is unheard of as we always make sure we lock it. And our landlord is the only other person who has the key. I yell, asking if someone is there. No response. Also, no roommates are in the house, it seems. We walk in. We freeze. Our room is decently small. Constitutes of two queen-sized beds put together in a little dresser that, you know, that's about it. So, what did we see? Pillows are all on our dresser. Towels on the bed. Our sheet is taken off the bed and put on the floor. It is spread out. In the center of it is an orange cut into two halves with a little peel next to it. My laptop is facing the door and playing the same song and repeat. My laptop was turned off before I left and was also password protected. The song playing is my favorite from my childhood, Africa by Toto. My desktop background was changed to one picture from my childhood that I didn't even have in my computer. 7 o'clock p.m. We call the police. They arrive 15 minutes later. I take about five pics of the mess just before they come. They say they'll start an investigation, but claim that it's still not serious enough for fingerprints and stuff. Figures. 8.30 p.m. They leave and tell us to call should anything happen again, and also advise us to stay with friends if possible. We spent the next few hours just talking, trying to figure it out. We're exhausted, both mentally and physically. I'm going to Skype with my mom tomorrow and see if she knows anything. I will type up my girlfriend's story tonight, but may post it in the morning if I don't finish it all. I will include photos I took. I promise you that much. Holy fuck. This shit is happening to me.